God, this is okay. This is the, the uh, running thread this week. Yeah, of course. Roy yeah. Rodriguez, subject is Simone Biles on the disco list. Greetings, right. my favorite podcast out there. Let me start with the protocol. Okay, this is like you guys already brought this up, and I had no clue about this, but somebody else is bringing this up too. So I guess this is like compliment one disco. You do the best Nick Gage impression by anyone in the business as I heard in the AEW roundtable. You're spot on with this unintelligible mumbling and drunting. Like, <laughs> 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 you know, the funniest thing about that match was is he, he they started off the match he had the pizza cut out like he was holding a knife in like a gang fight yeah. <laughs> like, but let me ask you a question so they got close enough where you could hear him grunting I don't know well that's what it's he that's what you think he sounds like yeah, yeah like, okay no compliment to Conan can take a burying like no one's business and keep coming back and seen this last month on AEW oh, wait a minute oh that's a cheap shit bro he's like he's talking about your booking in AEW where you've been <laughs> They got heat on you two weeks in a row, a row and then you lost. Bro, let Latino me put it to you. And what's the guy's name? Roy. Roy Rodriguez. He's Latino. You'll love this one. I'm bulletproof. <laughs> I can my, come back from anything. My yeah. question is, um, um, I'm sorry. Due to my poor mental health, I've decided to withdraw from the mailbag. Oh. I apologize. That's I, tremendous. I, that I is tremendous. Guys, <laughs> I hear you guys read it every week, and you all do fine and kill it without me. My sincerest apologies. Regretfully, <laughs> El Hijo del Puta. Yeah. That, that is tremendous. Yeah, he, the guys, well, let's not make light of the guy's mental health issues that he couldn't. Yeah, have. I'm sorry. Hijo yeah, del you puta. know what? We <laughs> should give him. A we should give him son a, of a whore is what it means. <laughs> we should give him an award for for having Next the courage. Yeah, love Next, yeah love let's give him a participation yeah. trophy. He or had the courage. So he doesn't feel so bad. He had the courage to love, withdraw. So right, hijo the de sex. puta. We send you a nice uh, what what would be good, dirty Party Sanchez. Pick. There you go. Yes. Next, um, next is from uh, Jordan Kilpatrick. Oh no, actually, we just did Jordan did Kilpatrick. Yeah. <laughs> Next one's from um, uh, Edward R. When is enough enough? Hey, Kim 100 click. As usual, I'll get to it. As to provide more time for the conversation terrorists to cut everyone off, half of the responses as always. A few weeks back, I wrote in about wrestling fans being automatically outraged at every WWE release. Years ago, WWE said Mike Rotunda's two sons, who had terrible looks, were completely out of shape. They taught them how to work in NXT and gave Bo Dallas the NXT title. Did he really win the NXT title? That's interesting. Bo Dallas. They put, yeah. Bray, they put Bray Wyatt in their hottest stable in years, Nexus. They retooled him, gave him creative freedom, got him in shape, and formed an entire stable around him. They showcased him at every WrestleMania major pay-per-view, and he wasn't taking time off, which they allowed him to take. They didn't flinch when he dated and married another co-worker. They gave him incredible entrances and title wins, and most importantly, by all accounts, he was paid well. What the hell else do people want? They kept him on the roster for 12 years. He showcased on Raw for like eight of them and got Undertaker-level entrances in Mania. Do you all think WWE did wrong for Bray Wyatt? What the F else could they do for a highly paid guy who was so inconsistently available? P.S. Everything I said above that, other than the first couple sentences, applies to CM Punk as well. Regardless, regards Mr. No Good, five-and-a-half-star emailer, never doing – oh, this is great. Never doing Husey's podcast or <laughs> get my go. That's okay. okay. I don't that guy's over with me. That guy's so over Edward R. <laughs> yeah. So let me let me get this one first. Um, here's a problem that I see here is that, first of all, they don't give a shit if he dated another co-worker. That happens all the time. Um, just like when I told Disco and he disagreed with me and on this one, he was wrong. Just like I told him that they were not oh, going to do shit. Well, I'm what about to about? say it. I'm all about right. to say it. Just when I told him that they were not going to do anything to the Uso for getting caught drunk driving. And you said, oh, it's the second time they caught him. They have to. And they will, and I go, no, they won't. I said and that, and they didn't. Joe, yeah, Joe, yeah, are you listening? Did, I, that's did exactly, I say that? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. He said they'll have to yeah. do something about oh, no, no, it. No, 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 no. Time, time out. Okay, because here's you'll try to change this somehow. No, 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 no Just take the L and keep it going. No, time, dude. stop. Because that is, here's why. That is what you said. At the time, the information that I thought, I thought he'd gotten a previous DUI. He did. He'd gotten arrested for up. Uh. He got arrested for DUI and the charges were dropped. Okay. Okay. I did not no. know that. But he also charged a police officer. But anyway, the bottom but, but line I, is. If I would have known that, I would have said, well, let, let's, what, they might wait for the for the Washington. You're, you're like the casino. You never lose, right? Oh, I don't. House always right. wins. <laughs> even, when you're, even when you're wrong, you're right. <laughs> the yeah. Casino. <laughs> the casino. That's my new What was that casino. song yeah. in the back of the bus? Everybody already knows we're right. Even yeah. What was it? Yeah. Everyone knows, they go, we're always right. Everyone mm -hmm. else is, is always wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we're the five guys in the back of the bus. I'm always right. That is, uh, well, I was one of those five guys. All right. right. Yeah, we're always All right. right. <laughs> Everyone else is always wrong. What a great tour that was. Yeah, that was All awesome. right. Um, okay, so anyways, here's the thing. This is what I think. You say that he made, but, you know, they don't give a shit that he married another co-worker and all, all that shit. 
Um, yeah, they gave him incredible title wins. Yeah, he won a lot of money. Yeah, he was in wrestling. But, bro, they f***ed up his... They, they had a super hot commodity when he was with the f- with those two guys with the sheep heads. Yep. Remember? Yeah, yep. And they f- destroyed that. Somehow he was able to kick out of that and come out with something just as f- cool that was just out of the universe with this f- fun house, fireplace, hun- fun house. Yeah. And they f- that up too. Yeah, I'd get f- pissed and depressed too, you know? Um, so I, 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 I can see, I, you know, I, I, I can see where Bray might be pissed about that. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I, would, I would agree with that, but let, this is one thing, bro. Bro, they have 207 contracted talent. Right. And that's just And you always see the same 30, you know, or 40. And it's like, yeah. come on, you don't need, I mean, like at some point, and bro, let me tell you something. Four, these are four guys that have been cut recently, right? Malachi Black, Bray Wyatt, um, Lana, and, uh, and, and, and Braun Strowman, and all of them. What's one consistent thing that we, we learned from? Yeah, you said that they had mental health issues, but Braun them, Strowman them, too? Yes. Them Braun too? Very, very yeah. vocal about wow. mental health issues. Yeah. Bro, all of them, like Lana and Braun Strowman are, were crying on WWE, like backstage. Remember yeah. they you, know who was yeah. talking, you know who was talking about mental health issues too? Who? Bianca. Huh? Really? Yep. Hmm, that's interesting. We'll see if yep. she's on the chopping block. I, I hope she doesn't embrace this thing like... It, you know, she has a bad match, or fans criticize her. She needs to take time off or something, everything, because you know, because yeah. then Vince will sour. Vin- Vince is, you know, I mean, it's kind of it's, it's obvious. Vince does not have time for these people that need time. You don't, bro. Remember what I told you? What Vince told Vince Russo, like Vince, when Russo was in the bookie meeting that day, and he was, he, just, he, he kept blowing his nose. He had the tissues, and everything, and Vince, and Vince McMahon looked at him and go, "What's wrong with you?" Yeah. And, and Russo said, "Vince, I'm sick." And what, what are Vince McMahon's exact words? You remember this? Uh, there is no there, sick. There, there is no sick. Right. So he's so, so people that are missing work. He just is not. He just if if right. you are potential for missing work, I don't right. know. Because, because I have two hundred and seven <clears throat> people here. Not only yeah, that. Right. Not only that. In Vince's mind, I'd never not show up if I was sick. So how dare you? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's the way he thinks. I show up to work with a torn. What, remember when yeah, he tore torn his quad. quads? Both yeah. of them. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> what a freak, I mean, like, right? And like you can sit there, like criticize him for that, but like you kind of got to say, like you know, dude, it's like this guy. He walks the walk. He walks the walk. You know, if right. you don't want to walk the walk that he walks, so this guy right. shows up every day regardless. Right. This guy's taking bumps off the cage through tables. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. It's like you want to stay home because you're depressed today. Right. It's like, come on. I, it's like, bro, know, I saw a crazy bump. You, you know? I saw a crazy bump that I don't know why it isn't like more get more attention where somehow Bubba Ray Dudley, he was sitting on the third on the t- third turnbuckle and Bubba pushed him. He took a very dangerous bump to the outside. I was like, what a f- maniac yeah 